Welcome everybody, this is Solomon. I wanted to thank everyone for coming through to the channel to check out your weekly readings and your monthlies and thank you for being patient with me. It's not very easy for me to release these videos either you know, on time as soon as I would want to or as often as I would want to uh, with so much activities you know, going on in my life right now. Um, I'm trying to do my best to get these videos out. So. This is another week where I will be choosing the preference of shuffling the cards off camera. So if you do hear the clicking noise, that's what I'm doing. I'll also be offering some astrology aspects as to what energies some of you may be actually facing this week and throughout the coming month. That'll give you an indication of what's possibly going on around you, why you may be feeling the upticks in energy or not. And because these are general readings, you can always check your moon sign, your rising sign, or your ascendant sign. Uh, the ascendant and the rising sign are pretty much the same. And you can either check those videos out because they may speak more to your situation than your actual sun sign might. I'd also like to give my appreciation to all of the comments that you have left. And even though I'm not able to respond to all the comments I try not to do that because if I'm not able to respond to everyone I try not to reply to anyone to not to make anyone feel like they're ignored or slighted in any way that's just how I do this so if you have any questions about things that are going on with the channel you can email me or you can send a message uh, through my uh, website psychiclovehills.com and then you can um, I can respond when I get a chance to other than that, uh, I do pay attention to the comments uh, just in case there's something I need to be made aware of and I want to give my appreciation out to you. And even though I would like to please everyone with their specific preference of how I shuffle the cards or release the videos, I can't actually do that. I can only go by how I feel that they should be released that week and I do hope that y'all actually appreciate the releases and they bring some clarity to your situation. Uh, with what you're going through all right so lots of love to you tons of light and i uh, hope that you have a great week welcome leo to your weekly reading for the week of may the 22nd to the 28th of 2017. venus and mercury move fully direct out of the shadow phase this past weekend which clears up energy uh, with love related issues finances and an uptick in communication and travel you may notice these things this week, the Sun and Mars will be in Gemini, activating intense energy in your 11th house of friendships, social events, dealing with electronics, issues around friendships possibly may come up, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Look out for many invitations, socializing, or if there are any issues with friendships, these will be enhanced and sometimes brought out into the open. All right, so let's see what's going on with you, Leo, for... Monday and Tuesday all right so Monday and Tuesday for you Leo as the moon will be in Aries and that's activating your ninth house of mental exploration long distance travel higher philosophy studying spirituality thinking of school and faraway places you know wanderlust will be activated and that's the desire to get out and about and travel so we have two cards that already popped out and that is the devil then you have the ace of cups reversed i'm going to pull out uh, two more cards for, for leo for monday and tuesday Okay, so we have the Devil, the Ace of Cups reversed, the Four of Wands, and then you have the Six of Pentacles reversed. So the Devil can mean many different things. Sometimes this is materialism. Um, this that is that need to have the finer things all the time. Um, you're worried about finances so much where you're going out and spending tremendously on things that you really don't need and it may be placing you into financial disarray you know a lot of debt where you're having to borrow money um, sometimes this is using many different credit cards and things like that um, you're trying to possibly relocate for some of you you're looking for something new um, but this double may be showing up as well when it comes to your connection with another person maybe you're desiring 
for a reconnect of some kind, a renewal of a commitment if you've uh, left a past partner, if you've moved on, because you do have that Ace of Cups reverse where you're either turned off or turned away from emotional opportunities. Sometimes this is missed opportunities, crying at night, being a bit down, sad, depressed, even though, you know, there is celebration. Others are around you. This is like being in your room by yourself or with a crowd of people, but just almost like you are in hermit mode, where you are in seclusion, where, you know, there are fears about poverty, you know, um, when it comes to finances, where you just don't feel like you have enough money or the ability to accumulate the amount of things that you want so you can move forward and get um, things that you want to. So um, these are going to add up to this is going to be 17 so this is an eight and it's about movement um, you know moving on from things that have been hurtful sometimes different locations so this could be travel it could be um, thinking about relocating but you have that fourth wands there so try to embrace that energy whatever it is you know this is possibly you around a romantic partner there could be commitment or fear of committing or you know moving into something that's uh, more powerful than it has been before so um, I do feel there's a lot of fear about new beginnings right here so that is energies for Monday and Tuesday so Leo for Wednesday and Thursday we do have the moon in Taurus that's activating your 10th house of career public status searching for your life path destiny a time where your father or fatherly figure may be around they may show up in your life to help you out in some way um so let's see what's going on with you for wednesday and thursday from may 22nd to the 20th for leo we have the seven of wands we have the king of pentacles We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Ten of Wands. And remember that Devil card that show up and I was talking about how a lot of you may be focused on work so much that it's all you can think about right now. It's, you know, worried about what people may think about you when it comes to financial security. You know, um, you know sometimes this is boasting about which you may own you know these energies could just come through where you're just feeling a bit insecure right now and um, a lot of times this is like comparing yourself or if someone has something better than you you're not liking that too much um, that energy can be coming through so maybe you're just trying your best to deal with things maybe this is a um, on the job you know that 10th house is activated your career and the king of pentacles is there maybe you are standing up to a controlling boss or someone that um, feels like they need to control everything that you're doing you may feel like this as a supervisor or a boss in some way but the king of pentacles and the knight of pentacles two different people capricorn virgo or taurus you can kind of see these energies of synergy you know working together building up your self-esteem uh committed to getting a job done and i feel like that's what you're doing trying to give effort because it's like you're doing a whole lot and a lot of you are needing to relax you know calm your nerves get some rest you can see the, the pinnacles there along with the wand so some of you may be dealing with the fire sign aries leo sagittarius and you are maybe um, some of you, maybe they've gotten into some kind of trouble or something like that, and you're having to work to help them out um, financially. You know, maybe they're not pulling their weight. Doesn't have to be these signs. Could be two different people. You know, um, someone is you know stable right now. The other person is um, spending their money on different things that they don't need to, which is causing someone else to have to put more work out than the other. You know. You know, that's what I kind of feel here. Or maybe someone is still in a relationship or spoken for or married in some way. And maybe they're trying to work towards getting their own place, you know, so they can be by themselves and get out of a toxic uh, situation that they don't want to be in any longer. And that's that may be your only way out. You can see the Seven of Wands energy. So that's courage, perseverance, standing up for your beliefs of what needs to change, balance that needs to occur. Or, you know fairness that needs to come about in the situation so uh, if you do add these up you do get uh, eight again 
yeah so again moving you know a lot of you may be thinking about relocating moving on from situations emotional um, things that have been holding you back in some way you know so but these are good cards to see here you know um, businessmen businessmen businesswoman business deal all about that security security right now in abundance and I feel like that energy is coming through so the career house is activated Wednesday and Thursday so Leo for Friday and Saturday and some of Sunday um, the moon will be in Gemini and it will be in cancer so your 11th house and your uh, 12th house will be activated all right and majority of the 11th house and dealing with your friendships social events social media long-term goals to manifest your dreams and what friends may be able to help you out with your career as well and so we're going to do for the weekend for leo may 22nd to the 28th we have the ten of cups We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have Strength Reversed. And we have the Two of Cups. All right, so uh, definitely love relationships are in there. You know, uh, the home environment. Um, around the home interacting with one another sometimes this is uh, moving in together you may be living with your romantic partner helping out with the home it could be that you are with a motherly figure a fatherly figure or maybe even a third person maybe in your home as a tenant uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles here as a Capricorn Virgo or Taurus that you may be around another Leo or Pisces Scorpio or Cancer as well but there is harmony um, there is um, stability here with the two of cups that's the soulmate connection twin flame connection that kind of bond that is solidified because you do have completion and some of you may be thinking about a choice as well you know uh, between two different partners or how to uh, handle things around a home who can actually um, you can delegate some kind of responsibility so that things are again in balance you know where you're not having to kind of say the same things over and over again maybe you are home helping a motherly figure out who's not able to help themselves out in some way but again maybe the responsibilities that you do have in a relationship now that you have it maybe it's too much um, and it could cause a lot of anger and resentment some of you may have uh, anger management or need to uh, get some help when it comes to anger management you know that could be coming up with strength in reverse so um, Sometimes this is being very brutal on yourself. Again, I don't. I want to stress that there is a lot of stress that could be coming through with your body. Um, you could be very hurt and pain, so you need to relax whether you're working out or, you know, um, doing too much. You know, I just do feel like that's going to come into focus with that 11th house being there. Um, it could be um, friendships coming around, but also just a happy time, emotionally secure, financially secure as well. But uh, the emotions you can be a bit tense. So watch what you're saying, how you're treating others, and just hopefully that energy comes back. Very, very good energy, though, for sure. And these add up to, so you have an 8, 9, 10, 11. So the 11th house is there. You have 11 here, so that's 2. Again, there is a choice to be had, some balance, for sure, some harmony definitely taking place. So be inspired by that for a lot of you out there. So let's see what the romance angels have for you for uh, the weekend. So, Leo, let's see what's going on with you from the Romance Angels for this week. <laughs> uh, not this weekend, this week. Uh, from May the 22nd to the 28th of 2017 for Leo. We have Let Your Friends Help You. Ask for and accept support from others. So, clearly, that 11th house being activated with the Sun and Mars being in Gemini. Alright. And we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so that's getting out and about uh you know doing things that you need to do whether it's communicating um making the effort where you know love is not going to just fall into your lap you know sometimes you have to work towards it uh give and take you know sharing um being open to dating you know that energy there friends can help you with that as well and you do have the card that just flipped out of express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so 
being a bit vulnerable, not being so tense or restricting yourself where strength was in reverse, having enough strength and patience and tolerance with your romantic partner, um, being a bit more sensitive, um, tapping into those reserves and, um, you know, go ahead and communicate. All right. Try to take that advice right here as making the effort may speak to a lot of you out there. All right. So tons of love to you, Leo. Lots of light. Um, I do hope that you have a fantastic week. If you want a private reading, you can go to the website, psychicglovehills.com, where you can email me. You know, that's your preference to see uh, what you would like to choose of the options that are there. So have a good one.